Okay, what's up? I'm just going to freestyle this. Um, huge news, guys. Um, I used to watch a show called The Tribe. You might have seen uh, I did two podcasts on it called The Tribe Talk. Um, if you're one of the 10 people that joined us in the audience, I want to thank you so much for coming back. Exciting news, guys. The Tribe game came out. We're playing it here on the Yes Asha channel. Um, sorry about that. Anyways, I've got my party um, favors here. Shout out to Flair for their special delivery to me today. And uh, let's get right into it, guys. Hopefully my mic's okay. Uh, we'll do a little setup here. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, open the tribe game. Uh, make sure everything's working okay. So far, so good, guys. The world began without the human race. Now, after a mysterious pandemic decimates the entire adult population, it looks as if it will end exactly the same way. My God. Unless the young survivors, who band together in warring tribes, overcome the power struggles, dangers, and unexpected challenges to unite and build a better world from the ashes of the old. But they are running out of time. Code one. Civil priority. Isolation now in effect. To avoid the risk of contamination, please stay indoors and await further instructions. Medical advice will be given. For a while, we all thought it was just a virus which mutated. But some thought that was just lies. A cover-up by the governments of the world. Or was it? Authorities are appealing for calm throughout the evacuation process. Whatever it was, <laughs> One thing for sure, there really was no cure or hope for all the adults, especially. Maybe it was a scientific experiment gone disastrously wrong. Some people even thought it was down to genetic engineering or bacterial warfare. That's the problem when you don't know who or what to believe anymore. There's so much rumor these days, speculation, conspiracy theories, even talk that beyond the Forbidden Zone, there is a world unlike our current world. It's where okay, medicine guys. women and magical men will live to be thousands of years old, Weed's having legal almost in my country. become immortal with the antibodies, having been initially evacuated to escape the plague. I never encourage any of this speculation, as we have enough to contend with to exist within our own sectors. Rise up! Take control! No one knows for sure what pushed us all over the edge into this dangerous world of madness. Fuck yeah. This hellish existence in which we all struggle to survive during these uncertain times. Power and chaos! Fuck yeah. Power is it and really chaos. the end? Or is it just the beginning? The only question is the beginning of what? The end? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? As a stray and not currently a member of any tribe, you have no protection, or support, or even an identity, beyond being a stray, of course. The only chance of building a better world is to try and live together in harmony. Oh, we will. It will require us all to learn new skills, complete quests, tasks, and challenges. If we're gonna survive, the dream for a better and sustainable future must always stay alive. If you believe that triumph can overcome adversity and hope can overcome despair, you can be instrumental in shaping the destiny of future civilization. You just have to decide whether or not you want to continue on your journey as a stray, or whether or not you'd like to join a tribe and embark on a journey of self-discovery as well as collective survival. First of all, you'd better customize your look and give yourself some markings to try and disguise yourself as a stray. Otherwise, you might have no hope of surviving. All right, people. I smoked weed twice and took a few drinks during that, so hopefully uh, we're feeling pretty good. Um... I'm just going to check to make sure it's recording and we'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, everybody, we're back, and we're going to just jump right into it. Uh, so here we go. New game. This is exciting. Okay. Hello, this is Yese. I'd just like to let you know that I'm aware that my screen center was a little off on the gameplay footage, but don't worry. I will correct that in future episodes. Please try to enjoy. It doesn't you're not really missing much in that little bit that's on not on the screen there. Anyways, let's get back to that crazy character customization footage. <laughs> I don't really have a fucking idea what I'm doing. My tattoos are on point. I want a bray one, obviously. So I want the guardian mullet. Do we want a hat? I wonder if they have the hat that Sasha wears with the baby hands. I think that might be it. Obviously we know what we're gonna choose. Fuck yeah. Okay, um, I think that's it. I think I did it. Yeah, I like this look. Holy shit guys, we did it. We made our guy. We're playing the game. Hey, very cool look. I love your hairstyle, markings, makeup, and clothes design. Thank you, ghost. Alright, who is this? Tribe Master! I'm only known and can be seen by you. Yes, you. Why? Well, I might be representative of humanity, or even your conscience. I'm certainly your guide, but I might even be a figment of your imagination and don't exist at all. Except in your own thoughts, only you will decide. But right now I'm here to advise you that in this world, you will require a lot of nodes, which are easy identified in order to simply survive. Above all though, I need to warn you that you're in extreme danger, and you'll soon find out why. Wow, guys. What a story. So that was Tribe Master. Oh, look at us. Listen to that bad boy music. Okay, what are we gonna do? Okay, so arrows move us. There's a fucking little thing here. Oh, got a bottle of water. Oh shit. Oh shit! Ebony! The hell do you think you're doing? Shopping? Like for food or clothes? Or to book a vacation? If so. I should do it with the accent, but I don't know. It's probably offensive. You might not have noticed, but the city in the world is closed these days, brother. The locos own this sector, and you're trespassing. Tribe Master, don't try and say I didn't warn you. You'd better get away as fast as you can, while you can. Fucking zoo! What's going down, Ebony? What's going down? <laughs> that stray needs to be taught a lesson. One that they will never forget. Nice one. I like it. The hunt is on. Argyos! Fucking awesome. Parangaios. Power and fucking chaos, guys, like two seconds into the game. Holy fuck, it's the mall rats. Oh, oh. That sounds like Zoot, and the locos are on patrol. Well, we can't outrun them, that's for sure. Fucking Amber, man. Legend. Come on! We'd better try and get out of sight while we can. Holy fuck. Get out of there. Look, I wonder what he's up to. Whatever it is, he's about to get caught. That's little Yese. Over here! Oh my god, I'm joining the mall rats. Stay out of sight. Don't make a sound. Quick move. For fuck's sakes. Holy shit, Zoot. Find him. You heard Zoot, and you better obey. 
find him. Show no mercy. <laughs> That's how I'm going to do your voice. That's how I'm going to do it, Ebony. That was a close one. Amber, what's your name? Type in this character's name. Let me do it. Gee, let me think. Yes, say. Uh, uh, press enter when you're done. Oh, yeah. Are you a member of any tribe, Yese? No. You shouldn't get involved, Amber. Can't just leave Yese. Thank you. Not when the locos are on a hunt. You better come with us, Yese. That's me. Fucking trap. Don't worry, you can trust us. I know, I've, I've literally watched the whole show and read the books. You can either stay with the mall rats or join the fucking locos. thought when I visited these botanical gardens as a child that we'd be relying on them to help survive. Does Tysan need more herbs? I noticed on the quest board that she'd ideally like turmeric, dock leaves, ginger, and elderberries if possible. So while we're here, we might as well try and get as much as we can. Yes, eh? Why don't you gather whatever you can and in that area around the greenhouse. I can't read, guys. <laughs> and check out if there's anything of use inside. Ryan and Dal, come with me, and we'll check out the area beyond those trees and see what we can find. This is a good time to show you how to identify places to obtain items that may be hidden to others throughout the world. At some point, I'll give you a tutorial on some professions. But for now, the skill foraging will allow you to see where various berries, roots, fungus, and herbs are around you. Yeah, I say herbs. Like that turmeric plant there. Turmeric. Here, let me help you by adding a little sparkle to the flower. Ooh. When you interact with spots that sparkle like that, you'll gain a little experience in the skill. Wow. Higher levels in a skill, such as foraging, will help you to find better hidden items. You can also use those items to make other items, or just as they are for other benefits. Okay. Let me go get that turmeric. What is this? What is this? Dock leaves? Okay. What's this? Clove? Okay. What's this? Where's that turmeric? Chives. What's this? Chamomile, chamomile, whatever. What's this? Mint. What is this? Some cloves. Still haven't found those turmeric leaves, whatever the fuck they're called. Skewer trig. Just getting a little bit of everything here. Huh? Foraging, just rising. Absolutely leveling up here, guys. Just This is the grind in the tribe. Beautiful background music, I gotta say. Not sure if it was used uh, in show, but still enjoyable and tribe worthy. <gasps> Found the term Eric, guys. Doing well. Don't know what else we can really do here. Pretty sure I got everything. Not really sure what to do next. Um, shall I go up into this area of forbiddenness? There could be useful shit to collect here. Maybe you should keep looking around. Oh, okay, there's one more here, I see. Is there any more shit around here, or am I done? I think I'm done. Unless that's a thing I need to get. No, it is not. What in the fuck? Okay, we did it, guys. We are now in the garden. 
the greenhouse. Getting a shitload of mint in time. There's some shit over there. We'll go around. Beautiful, beautiful artwork here. Throwback graphics. Loving it. Um, foraging increased once again, guys. Absolutely killing it in the grind. Got a little rosemary there. You can't get enough of that in this game. This is a realistic survival... Um, Simulator. Simulator. <laughs> okay, I think we got everything we needed there. Oh, it looks like there's a couple more new things here to get. Okay. Oh, oh shit. A blonde stranger and what appear to be two locos emerge from the bushes. From what you can gather, they don't seem very friendly. I don't want to fuck with them. Oh shit, it's Troy. Looks like we're in luck. Astray! That's made my day. Okay, it looks like we're getting into our first fight. Uh, I guess I'll just try to attack the blonde stranger, or the aggressive looking loco A, or B. I'm gonna attack the blonde stranger. I feel like if I take him down, the others will fall. Okay, they're hitting hard. I need to run. Okay. Um, try again here. They're gonna kill me right now. I'm dead. I'm dead. Thank fuck. Thanks, Amber. You're a little late. I'm going to say I think so. I did the best I could, and I was sure glad when you turned up, though. And we repeat it. That's beautiful. Ryan, you did really well trying to defend yourself. That looked like Troy of the Nomads. Right. I wonder what he's up to. Searching for strays to trade? There might be more to it than that. Hopefully the Nomads and Locos aren't joining forces. That's true. Come on, we better get to the mall. Oh fuck, we're going to the mall. I wonder if there's a fire outside of the mall. Oh fuck, do you hear that music, boys? Oh my god, it's Chloe. What are you up to, Chloe? You know you shouldn't be out on your own. Bluebell has escaped. Oh, that fucking cow. That's still no excuse. For your own safety, I don't want you out alone without protection, Chloe. I made it! Calm down, Chloe. I'm sure Bluebell wouldn't have gone very far. Right, we'll find her. This is Yese. Sorry to hear about Bluebell, or would you like me to help search? I'm gonna search for Bluebell, for sure. Would you like me to help search? Oh fuck. We found her. Let's try and set up a perimeter, otherwise we'll never catch her. Yes, I head down the ramp. Alright guys. Holy shit, do you hear that song? This is epic. I'm living this. Let's see if we can chase her back up. Dal, Ryan, and Chloe, stay with me and spread out in a semicircle. Okay, what the fuck? What's happening? Seriously, I, I wasn't reading. <laughs> I was listening to the song. Come on, Bluebell. There's a good girl. What is this one gonna say? We'll grab her rope as soon as you guide her back here, yes sir.
I doing it? This is so epic. Spirit of the tribe is yours and mine. Well done, Yase. Thanks, you're awesome. I think you've just made a friend for life, Yase. I'm friends with Chloe for life. We should head home. Oh, the tribe master. Before you discover just exactly where home is, would you like to save? Yes, I would. And whilst I save, I think we're going to end this episode right here, guys. Pretty fucking epic, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, we're just going to stop it right there. Anyways, um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on smoking, smoking. Uh, we hitting that vape. We drinking a hard cream soda. And we're just living life. And the spirit of the tribe is yours and mine. Thanks, guys. Power and chaos.